That's beautiful. What'd you say, bitch? But, but, but. Mmm, taco-y. Okay, ew, gross. <laughs> taco-y. <laughs> is that a fucking adjective? I love it. Is that is an now. adverb? Um, no, that we gotta do the clap. Is everything on? One, two, three. What? Are those on? Yeah, dude, they're okay. freaking awesome. on, brother. Thanks. Sorry, I'll shut up. Bend I'll over and spell run. run. <laughs> Are you in? Whoa! Bend over and spell run, baby. Whammy. Are you in? Could you imagine being a person that actually says whammy when <laughs> something like funny happens? I mean, oh, that would be so embarrassing. I say equally as dumb stuff, so yeah. yeah. It's six o'clock on a Tuesday. I feel every bit of it. You do? You look good. You look really energized. Because I did. I laid in my bed all day today. And went. <laughs> you just laid in your medical bed. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah. I was like, I'm going to be very productive on my snow day. I'm going to clean my room. And basically what happened was is I ordered bandanas and I slept all day. Bandanas is in like hair things? Bandanas is in the barbecue place. Uh, okay. I was like, I don't. I also swept my porch. I swept the snow off. Like with, an elderly woman. With what? <laughs> Just a broom from a broom. inside? I have gotten into, like, whenever there's snow or anything in my car, I just take a broom, like, from the indoor broom, and I just go and I fucking get all that shit off. That's what I did. It's the best. But then shortly after, I ordered um, on Amazon a, a scraper. I don't think I've ever bought an ice scraper. Yeah. I mean, they are a necessity, but the most irresponsible people don't have them. You know, the most successful people in the world don't have <laughs> ice scrapers. That's a fact. I've used cups before. Oh, use a dustpan. I used to use CD cases. Yeah, that's another that good was, one. That was my my top one. I had one designated <laughs> CD case to scrape the ice off in the winter. Was it Dave Matthews? It band? was an Alice in Chains one. No, I've never owned a Dave Matthews CD. I and I hope not to. I had a couple and I got them from... What's that place where you buy a CD for one cent? What? Remember that place, Randy? Columbia House? Columbia House, where you oh, yeah, order like a that. bunch, and then they just send you collection notices for the rest of your life. Where is, <laughs> did they go bankrupt? <laughs> they had to. Nobody paid anything for any of that music. Wait, so you would go into this place? No, it's not a place. Uh, oh, it, oh, Columbia, it's like a as seen on TV thing? You they call would them send up? you a pamphlet. Okay. And you'd s- mark off all the ones you want, send it in, pay... You wouldn't pay anything. Would you mail a check-in or something for the first one? I don't even think you had to mail a check-in to the first one. Oh, what a horrible business model. <laughs> no. I mean, that's like somebody that sells drugs and they're like, listen, I'm going to give you all of this crack, okay? And you don't have to give me a cent right now. You don't have to give me a cent until we send you a letter in about 30 days that says you owe us $17,000. Yeah, and, and the little young budding drug dealer is like, <laughs> Okay, so uh, are you going to, like, kill me if I don't pay you back in a timely fashion? And they're like, uh, no, I'm just going to keep sending letters to your house. So might have a picture of a gun in the letter, but, like, I'm not going to kill you. How did they How did they do this? Oh, this is a horror. I want to see what kind of, this says two hot hits for a cool penny. That's a dope logo. Or that's a dope slogan. Man, when you got that box of new CDs, though, where you had like 12 brand new CDs that you paid nothing Randy for. Randy is like literally remembering when he was happy I right mean, that was a great day <laughs> when you got those. And then my mom would be like, where did you get all those CDs? Because they would be like, I'd say 12, between 12 and $15 a piece. Yeah. That's a lot of money back in the day. Well, sure. Especially when you're working at Steak and Shake. Oh, yeah, and you're not even getting tips then. You're telling me you got both Tori Amos CDs at one time? Holy oh, shit. Can we, I want to see what kind of, so these are all cassettes, it looks like, or is that just the checklist? Dude, like this, this These looks, are eight-track tapes. Oh, okay. Shit. Like, dude, when I did this back in the 70s, dude, like, I did this so much, like, my grandma would be like, God damn it, Randy! Because <laughs> a box of albums would show up. <laughs> Oh. And my, it got to be so bad, dude, that 
that my mom called them yelling at them saying, he's a little fucking kid. He can't pay these bills. He's <laughs> like eight years old and quit sending this shit to our house. And I never heard my mom curse before, dude. And that was hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> she, it, she like reads this little logo. It says, punch up 10 selections for one cent. And she's like, I'm going to punch my son up. <laughs> Yeah. You, punch. Would, you would just read through the brochure, check the ones you wanted, and send it yep. back. Oh, my you God. You would check it with a ballpoint Whoa, pin. They got Boston on this one. <laughs> Meatloaf. Would you believe 13 records or tapes for $1? Yes, wow. And you get to take your pick. So is that a CD, cassette, eight track, or what is that? <laughs> that looks like a little uh, module airplane at the very end. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it looks like a... What is this, um, I can't see that, man. My eyes aren't that good. Look at the guy in the background of that photo. He's like, come on, babe, let's listen to some more records. Come on, babe, put on meatloaf and put some meatloaf in the <laughs> oven. Yeah, <Ya> dig, bitch. <laughs> Honey, I just got us 13 records for $1. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Do you think there's anybody that, like, lost their home because they owed so much money to Columbia Records? I mean, they would threaten you constantly, but... What what are they going to do? <laughs> a guy just shows up to your fucking street and he's standing outside your window wearing a big long trench coat and he opens it up and there's just like <laughs> records, cassettes, eight tracks. And all you pay is one penny. That's it. Th so this one says one dollar. Why is this one dollar? <laughs> one time mail order giant Columbia House files for bankruptcy. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, of course they did. I mean, that is just such a fucking bad business model. None of it makes sense to me now that I'm thinking about it. Too hot hit. Can, will you click on the one that says Cool Penny? Because I really like that slogan. Too, oh, okay. Too hot hits for a cool penny. Oh, for Christ's sakes. That's okay. I just wanted to know what kind of stuff there was in there. Oh, uh, that, we... that girl down there, it says Go a Little Crazy. I'm trying to... Um... I want to see it from the 90s, like when you could get CDs. Because I'm pretty sure it was like a brochure that you could. I remember the one back in the 70s, you actually yeah. uh, you would tape a penny to the card and mail the penny back. Oh, my God. And then God. they would send you this box of fucking albums, dude. My mom and my grandma would just lose their shit. We're going to lose dude, our home it. because Every... of our son. <laughs> Every magazine I found with that thing, I filled it out. <laughs> I mean, this is more like what I would see. Kind of, I think. Columbia House CD Club, anyone? Oh, Here, six. top right, Zoom. I'm going to give it to you because I can't fucking see it. Okay. Man, you know what they should have like had is like one of those uh, quarter collection things yeah. in there, but just for the pennies. It's like a... Okay, great. Can't see anything Very on blurry. here. Very blurry. But, I mean, truly, ooh, Sting. I mean, wow, I remember that CD. We had that CD in my house. <laughs> I wonder if your parents got it from Columbia House. No, my mom would be like, they're going to take all of our money. Don't send them a dime. They're taking our house away because we have too many records. My dad made me go to the library rent CDs, and then burn them at home. That's a good idea. And did the, like, Napster. He's like, you don't need to buy CD. What do you mean you want CDs? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and then he would be like, okay, I download great application called Napster. Come on in. <laughs> and we just got fucking lit up, man. Great application. Yeah. Pro program. God, these are fucking cool. The hassle-free music club that breaks the rules. It's got cake on there. Cake's one of, one of the ones I got from it. That is the City of Angels soundtrack with... Uh, I got the Sean Mullins one from it. Will Smith, Big Willie style. The Madonna. Style. I mean, I got almost all these. The Madonna, Sean Mullins, who we met in um, Nashville. Not really. Just someone that looked like him. Yeah. Remember him? Uh-huh. What is this? The Boston's? I can't even tell. If you're under 31, you won't remember this. <laughs> Whoa, these are fucking Sarah McLaughlin. I mean, all of these CDs were just in the arms of 
Big Willie style. I had that one. That was tight. God, this is so cool. And also just so, I mean, I wonder if when this happened, the CEO was like, this was never going to be sustainable. We had to know, you know, <laughs> or if they were just like, what the fuck happened? Well, I mean, we got all these pennies. We got pennies and it only adds up to a dollar. Every, they literally just have piggy banks full of pennies. They're like, what's good? What's the problem? I mean, look at all these piggy banks. <laughs> One guy has like a big popcorn <laughs> tub filled with pennies. Oh, boy. One day when we get rich, they're going to come back mm. and start looking for me. And it's going to be interest. And I'll owe millions of dollars. And they'll have record of every CD I ever got. Dude, they're done for. They're not coming back for you. <laughs> done for. They're, nobody's coming back for you. I wonder if anybody has a bit about this. There has to be somebody that has a bit about this because it's so funny. Yeah. If not, you need to look it up and you need to start writing a bit about it. Write me out. God, these are, this is just so cool. I mean, a fucking dollar. Did a you dollar, see Chelsea's a, a, a track player in her car? Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, that thing's fucking amazing. God, I had so, I mean, I, what did you, what did you do with all of your CDs and shit when you got rid of them? Oh, like, they how would, did it happen? You mean at the end of it? No, no, no. I just, like, I used to have CD books full of CDs. They would get ruined and I'd just throw them away one by one. Yeah. They'd get left on the floor. I'd step on them. I don't have a CD to this day. They all got ruined. Yeah, I think I threw a whole big, like, CD box that I had. I think I just tossed it. I think I was like, this is it. When We're they, done. When they the started skipping, come. that was it. I was like, I don't need you. Skip one time, you're gone. And it one was always time? my fight. Always my fault. Sure. Always. You know how many times I spit on a CD because it had something on it? Yeah. And the CD, did you ever have like the CD cleaner stuff? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but no. It never worked, <laughs> really. To polish it back to new? Yeah, I don't know what they, if it, to be honest, felt like you just put a lot of like acetone on it and stuff. <laughs> and like, I think they would be like, put it in this heat thing. And put I, it in this soft, spinny thing. It's like a car wash for a CD. You just go around. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Just putting super glue and glitter in between the cracks? <laughs> the fuck out of here. I have played a record, though, on vinyl that had a crack in it, and it still slapped. Whoa. Yeah. Man, fuck records. You don't like them? No. I, I know there's some record enthusiasts. I think they're cool and everything, but, like, I don't want to sit there and listen to a fucking record. I think it's cool because it can be, like, an event. And I understand that there are a lot of, like, hipster cucks out there <laughs> that are like, yeah, dude, you want to see my record collection? You know? And if you're listening to this podcast, you know who you are. <laughs> Randy, do you have records? I do not. I have records, and I have a record player. And it's like, do I know that it's kind of like, you know, a little hipstery? Sure, but it's fun. I like, what I used to do is I would go out and just buy random records that looked cool. And then, like, we just sit, smoke cigs, and listen to them. We have a record. And it was awesome. Too. Yeah, and we got the little sunshine people, children. That record store up the street from here yeah. is always busy every day of the week. Yeah. I'm like, who the fuck's buying all these records? A bunch of hipster cucks. It's like people of all ages. Oh, for sure. Well, the elderly people, like, that I understand. <laughs> They're going in there. They're like walking in at 6 a.m. They're like, hello, is this the early bird senior COVID-19 time? <laughs> We're like, we don't fucking do that. We open at noon. You old fuck. <laughs> if we wake up on time, bro. <laughs> yeah. And then they blow fucking weed smoke in this <laughs> grandpa's face. Um, Grandpa. I don't know. I like records, but I do think they can be. I think there are people who can be very annoying about them. Yeah, and they're like, oh, they sound better. No, they don't. I do kind of like that popping sound. But my music, I like to be able to like, access it at any time. I don't want to have to put a record player into my pocket. No, no, no. Or my pocketbook. I mean, I love, I've got Spotify, but I still, every now and then, yeah, dude, I'll freaking crack on a record. Crack I'll just crack on. one on. You know? What I, what I really used to do it was when I had a bedroom that was large enough for my record player. So I would get ready to go to bed and every, for about a month and a half straight, I put on the Free Wheel and Bob Dylan every night when I went to sleep. 
and I did that for for a good while. Just the it one was side. Like, yeah, because I would fall asleep by the <laughs> second, like when it got time to turn it. It'd be going. Yeah, I'd wake up and I'd be end. like, "Where am I?" And the thing's just going. No, I think it would just stop actually, but I would do that, and that was fucking cool. I had like a cute little record player guy, and that was cool. But it's like I barely have room for my clothing in my bedroom now. So would you put the record all the way down, or would you put that hand thing over that like? Dropped it on its own. You know how uh, sometimes you could just put it up there and then put that little arm on there? Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd put it in there, crank the arm, set it in the middle. What is that arm, Randy? I think they just call it the arm. The delayed <laughs> onset know. arm. Fucking delayed onset arm. Well, it was because you just like set it on there and somehow it pushed the record down. Oh, God, I think wow. I had that Fincher. Winnie Fisher the Pooh, Price one. Winnie the Pooh record player. Oh my God, that is so cute. See, like that shit's cute to me. I love, tri- you know what I realized, Libby, the other day? I have like a kind of little trinket area in my house. And I when I see people with those curio cabinets, I'm like, you fucking losers. <laughs> and then I realize, like, I have a curio cabinet. It's just <laughs> two floating shelves. And I literally have like 12 trinkets on there. Trinkets. And to be honest, I want more. One day, I, I mean, I want trinket, like, I want weird things like this, uh, like the Winnie the Pooh record player. I want cool shit like that. I want, you know those old Disney cups, the glass Disney cups? Mm-hmm. I want all of them. Oh, boy. I, I want them all. I bet they all have lead in them, too. Good. Bring it on. <laughs> That's how I want to drink my fucking vodka. I want all the I McDonald's drink my, ones. I want to drink my vodka out of it. I want to drink my fucking <laughs> coffee out of it. I want to drink a water in the middle of the night. Ooh, I God, love a, those Disney cups. I love like the strawberry shortcake, all those. Any that came from McDonald's. Oh, I mean, these are just adorable. I'm going to be honest. I was getting, uh, what, what I was looking for at the at Walgreens yesterday was like something to balance my pH in my pussy. Because it sums <laughs> off. Boric acid. <laughs> <laughs> really? Boric acid. I just put that in my pussy. They have little tablets. And I, do I suck it up with my pussy or no, do I take it No, they have a little orally? applicator. Oh, do, it says specifically do not. Like, it can harm you if you take it in your mouth, which I don't understand. How can you not put it in your mouth, but you can put it in your pussy? Because your pussy's a powerful place, bro. That shit can fucking burn. You this know shit what? will eradicate anything that's Boric in there. acid will burn your throat, but your pussy's going to burn that <laughs> boric acid up. I don't know. There was something going on. I think my pH was off. There was, and I used that. I read about it on the internet, and it was like you're supposed to use it like seven days. Like within the first day, it was already back to normal. I was like, "Whoa, what's you're, in there?" And you just like you, you shove your fingers in your pussy and pull them out, and you're just like, "Damn!" <laughs> no, because it just felt different. Yeah. I well, I, I had so, some irritation going on. Well, maybe some odor maybe. sure well i don't have any irritation i just got kind of this odd <laughs> odor get you some boric acid tips. i'm i'm going to but right now i'm on my period and tr- trust me this time around on this period i have i'm done with tampons they mm. don't stay in oh for me shit. What's we've had this pussy? well we've had this conversation and i was thinking i'm like how do i figure out is it slanted is my pussy slanted at some kind of angle or what's going on so i think i'm gonna just put a hot dog in there <laughs> <laughs> just put a slim, probably a turkey dog, so it's a little healthier. So I'll just get myself a little turkey dog, and I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see where it if breaks. It curves? Yes. And I, I want to see where it curves, where it breaks. I go, when I, I go up and to the side. I don't know why. When you put your tampon in? Yeah. Yeah, I just, they they don't stay in. You, you got to get it far up in there. I have your partner Rafe's. Yeah, I'll just bend over like this, like my legs over my head. Oops. My friend Hillary always used the OB ones that don't have the applicator, and I never could understand how. Yeah, it's like, bitch, are you fucking coating those in Vaseline (laughs) before you shove them in? I mean, just like, how do you got that kind of dexterity? Well, yeah, and also, I mean, she. this is what she was doing before. She was going like this, (laughs) licking her entire hand. Taking the OB and then holding it. <laughs> the OB. She was holding the OB. I love that they call themselves OB. OB. It's like, 
yeah, we don't have the GYN <laughs> part, but we got the OB covered. Yeah, so, but either way, I'm there. I Well, and they had this really wonderful-looking product there. It was like a pH uh, pussy uh, Gel? Uh, detector. So oh, I had one of those, too. put it in there, and then it lets you know if your pH is off. Did it turn green? Yeah. <laughs> so did mine. No, 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 I haven't done it yet because oh. I'm on my period. It specifically says do not t- do this pH thing one day before your period's going to start and then five days after. So I'm going to have to, once I'm done with this cycle i'm gonna go and get one of those and i'm gonna put it in there and see what's going on i didn't turn green <laughs> <laughs> that's that means your ph is very high it, <laughs> some guy called you <laughs> like he's like hey uh we just got a notification saying that uh wow this is the greenest ph applicator we've seen in a long time we actually have a data tra- a neurotransmitter in there and, and be, uh, you need help. Be like, Sir, I didn't send this to anyone. <laughs> I did this in the comfort of my own home. How do you know? Yep. Neurotransmitter in there. And boy, that pussy stinks. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't authorize you to look into my... Po- Is there a camera on this thing? It's not a camera. It's a neurotransmitter. <laughs> Ever heard of the internet? No. Space, satellites, <laughs> space war. Wait. Soviet <laughs> Union versus the United States. Neuro. Little, 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 little... Uh, Oh, what am I talking about? Little guy that looks like a windmill almost. Wait in the a sky. minute. I don't think you're a, an official science person. Oh, yeah. You ever seen one of those windmills? <laughs> he keeps calling it a windmill. I think this think is of a like... wind, Think of a windmill that's catapulted <laughs> into space. No, no, no. Not by the Soviet Union, but by the United States of America. Uh, I don't know, sir. I think this is like when they, when somebody... Uh, tampered with all the ibuprofen back in the 80s and put different stuff in there. I think you put little cameras in there, sir. There ain't little cameras. I, you know, oh, you think it's a little camera? Let me tell you something. You've got a little camera. Only people I know that have those little cameras are the KGB, the Soviet spy. Oh, yeah? Okay? What am and I you know doing what now? Do? What am I doing now, sir? I don't know. Sounds like you're gyrating. What am I doing? Sounds like you're fingering yourself. How did you know? <laughs> You can see me. No, I just have very good ears. I've lost sight in one eye. <laughs> Soviet spy. This guy's obsessed with shitting on the Soviets. Windmill. It's a windmill. <laughs> I could recognize the sound of a windmill from anywhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah, sir. Missing one eye. You want to hear the story? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, let me tell you anyway. Yeah, you might as well tell me. You got so, me. The way I uh, injured my eye. Didn't lose it. Still here. Okay. Wait, Wait. your eye's still in there? Still in there. Just got a little bit of a vision problem. Okay. So the way that I injured it is that I was uh, playing catch with some cats in my neighborhood. Like Literal cat, cats. cats. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Literal cats. Playing catch with them, throwing them around a little piece of bologna. <laughs> Wait, what? Just tossing around some meat that I found near a dumpster, and I'm just tossing around all this meat, just running around, having a good time. Me and this cat, I call them Scarpy. 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 S K A R P E E. Was he Scarpy. shaped like a windmill? <laughs> you know what? He did resemble a windmill <laughs> now that I think about it. Either way, playing around with this cat, Scarpy. And he, I put the baloney on my left eye just as a fun joke. And then he lunged at me and, <laughs> <laughs> and his little windmill of an arm, just uh, his little paw got in there. It actually scratched part of my cornea off. Oh, jeez. So, yeah. Told my dad about it when I got home and he, he just punched. Yeah. So wait, I, I still don't understand how this correlates to you putting a camera inside my pH test. Ah, yeah. So there isn't, again, not a camera. It's like a windmill sort of thing that you could think of. It's transmitting any kind of suspicious activity. And unfortunately, <laughs> pH balances are suspicious nowadays because if you ain't taking care of that pussy, then you ain't taking care of America. So we just got kind of a, you know, kind of a, it's kind of a deal. It's actually uh, the Department of Homeland Security 
is very worried about uh, women or people with uh, off pH balances. So well, uh, not trying to, you know, get too much in your business. And no one's judging you. You know, one time I, uh, I let me tell you a story. <laughs> one time I got with this gal and boy, she was a looker. I mean, we were moving and grooving and. Did you guys neck? We were grind. Oh, we were necking. We. I looked at her and I said, "Oh, I want to neck with you." I looked her in the eyes and I said, "Oh, I want to neck with you." Somehow she said, "Why not?" <laughs> Can you believe it? So I grabbed the rest of those mixed nuts that were sitting on the bar and I shoved <laughs> two handfuls in my pockets. Two handfuls in my pockets. She was touching my hard little <laughs> dinger peanut. Yeah, she's touching my little peanut as we were gyrating all the way out because oh. they were playing that one song. Was her name Gail? It was. Guess what, motherfucker? I caught you, Donald. I caught you putting cameras in my pH box. What are you talking about? My name's not Donald. I don't own a plastic film company. <laughs> Complete this sentence. You're looking good today. Caught you, motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> That was Donald back in the day. He's just like alarmed about pHs, Plastic obsessed film with the Soviet company. units. Their Soviet Union windmills. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I guarantee you. If I saw Don, I didn't see him today because it was snowy out and like you know he can't travel in that kind of weather. Neither can I. So what are we talking about? <laughs> he, um, if I see him, I bet if I was like, "Hey, Donald, you ever seen a windmill before?" Or how do you pronounce windmill? He'd be like, windmill. <laughs> Guaranteed. I can already see it. And then he'd go, come over here. I want to check your pH here. God. <laughs> I'd be like, I want to check your pH because your skin is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you are truly yellow. <laughs> That's how you know someone's on the brink of death when they're yellow, you know? Truly yellow. Oh, that is a true yellow color on you, sir. If that man passes away before I meet him. Oh, God. I just can't. I'm like, I will raise him from the dead with my two hands. Do you know what I want you to hear him say is this? Yeah, I got a uh, got a haircut today. They uh, They cut four pounds of hair off of my head. Yeah, when I was younger, they'd be like, well, your hair's curly. That's for girls. And I'd say, well, this is what I was born with. And then he talks about, that's what he says every time he gets a haircut. Do you think he talks about that in therapy? If somebody asked Donald to go to a therapist, he would have straight up bitch slapped them. <laughs> There's no way. He, there, Donald doesn't see the inside of a therapist's office ever. He really <laughs> holds on to stuff. Maybe a physical therapist. <laughs> Holy shit. That he'd be okay with. And then a man would come out. He'd be like, no, 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 no. I heard there were going to be ladies He's here. like, I can't neck with you. <laughs> or could I? <laughs> oh, God. I didn't get my hair cut. I got my ears lowered. <laughs> oh, man. He's such a bless his heart, you know. I know today he's just looking out the window like, oh. I'll take him a drink. I wish I w He doesn't even drink his drinks. Dude, he's on so many pain pills that he's just like... <laughs> nodding off. <laughs> I literally give him like a splash of... What do you think he drinks? Just I think you said rum and Diet Coke. I can't believe you remembered that. He's, You're meant to be with Donald. him. Donald. Yeah, it's a Bacardi Diet Coke with lime. He wants the lime squeezed in there. Do you shake it like that guy on that video that I just say? No. And put on my story? No. Dude. <laughs> God, you see my tits moving? That, oh yeah, you're free balling today, I don't have you? a bra on. I couldn't find it. And my tits are everywhere. What do you mean you couldn't find it? I couldn't locate it. Where would you have put it? I have no idea. Did, you have, like... a, did you have somebody over and make, a, make sexual advances on them? No. I have two bras. I couldn't find either one. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Dude, those things are shaking like bacon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, does bacon shake? It's a fuck. You say it because it rhymes, dude. Oh, I get it. Like, it's honestly, like, hard being your friend sometimes. 
That's what they all say right before they leave me. <laughs> nah, dude, those titties are shaking like a fucking <clears throat> leaf on a tree. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> titties. Are <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I uh, after I watched that bartender TikTok yesterday that you showed me, I was. A- I, there are a lot of things that I do when I'm like pouring stuff. I do it like a bartender because I'm bartending for, I don't know, since I was 21. So now like seven years. And uh, I when I put take my contact solution and go to pour it in, I always go like this. <laughs> yes. Does that help bartenders? No, you just, I think you do it because it looks cool. Do you press really hard on the computer screen? Like, yeah. Like he does. Oh, people will always be like, whoa. You're fast. <laughs> and I'm like, you should see me suck your <laughs> cock. <laughs> oh, I want a neck with you. No, nah, just kidding. I'm not good at blow jays to completion. Who is? I mean, girls in porn. These girls That's are their job. Out, these girls are out of control. They like it. Yeah. Some gals like it. Well, I just think sometimes like I should just get like a jackhammer or something so that I you know, something that I can be like Just so I can be doing two things at once. Maybe like, I should get like a kitchen aid and have it like go in my butt while I'm giving a blowjob so it pushes me forward. Oh dear. Maybe you could sit in a rocking chair and just get a good yeah. good momentum. I'll just open my leg. God, that would literally be the grossest sight. Like if I sat in a rocking chair, open my legs and just let my partner Rafe enter me, all he you would see is like you would see all these like a few rolls coming and it's like it would stretch out and then it would just get really you know it wouldn't be enter you oh god you'd be looking at that video like boy what is going on there don't know if you noticed but randy uh is receiving phone calls during the podcast <laughs> you fucking kidding oh, wow who's fucking calling you he just did the jerk off motion. Wow. How would you like it if I just sat here on my phone, Randy? We'd fire you, but we frankly don't have anybody else who's talented enough. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have the money for anybody else. So, and you know, I mean, but if if we ever do need somebody else, we will be willing to explore your body. Um, <laughs> that's actually what we did with Randy in his first interview. <laughs> When we interviewed him, we just explored his body. We said things like, what? Why do you think you'd be a good asset for our company? I was like, try on that jacket and piss on me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, put that jacket on and then piss on me. Dude, I know that people wow. love getting pissed on, but I couldn't do it. I mean, it's warm, I guess. But then it's going to get cold. It's going to get immediately cold and like... Do you understand how many things you have to clean after you get pissed on? Everything. You got to clean. You got to buy a new mattress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First off, <laughs> you have to take your mattress and throw it away. That's why you do it in the bathtub. You got, I mean, who would, no, anybody that says they like fucking in the shower is a liar. You don't have to have sex. You just pee on someone. In the oh, shower. okay. I'm just like, lay down. And it's like they're already like wet and people Lay down. <laughs> yeah, and people don't look good when they're wet generally anyway. <laughs> so like this person just laying in the bathtub and I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna pee on you. And then it's like two dribbles come out. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what happened to me. <laughs> yeah, just just <laughs> just a couple like, <laughs> just a couple dribbles. Just like a bloop, when they bloop. were asking you to pee on them, you yeah. could only get a couple dribbles out. And they were like this is funny. And they were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Just with the two dribbles. They were like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, she's pissing it on me. I don't even think it fell onto him. They're I think it just was, I could feel it come out. And they're just it. losing their mind over it. And you're like, dude, I literally didn't. Even pee. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, she pissed all over me. Oh, I'm wet. Like, they're so dry. <laughs> they, they're they literally not, oh, not even close to being wet. They're like, oh, yeah, I can taste it. You had asparagus. <laughs> oh. Ugh, gross. Yeah, I just. Mm. 
Hey, I'll just go ahead and pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to get my chapsticks. Um, man. Yeah, I t- here's here's what I gotta say. Uh oh. If I'm up to five thousand followers, maybe I'll shoot Rafe Sand again. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. What is Rafe gonna say about that? Mm. Here's the thing. I bet if it was like Rafe, I have to shit in your hand, but I'm gonna be at twenty thousand followers. He'd probably be like, "Just do it." Probably be like, "Yeah, that's fine." Just do it. Oh, whatever. He's like, all right, let me close my eyes. I'm going to see if where you're at on there. Oh, yeah. Let's do a check-in. Tina Dieball. D-Ball. I have an announcement for Tina Dieball. What? Budding influencer has breached 5,000. Where am I at? You are at 5,039. Oh, my God. Everybody, can we get an unlicensed clap for Tina? Unlicensed Tina. clap. <laughs> wow. So that means I got to shit somewhere in public today. Maybe not today. Maybe later this week. Let and to be see. honest, I shit my pants while we were in Nashville that one time. You know, just didn't make it. Well. Fortunately, I was able to uh, suck it in, hold it inside of my butt cheeks tightly. But, boy, that toilet paper was a mess. <laughs> How does it feel, though? How different do you feel now that you are? Over 5,000? Yeah. To be honest, uh, I feel like somebody should pay my car off. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel I feel just, like, really ready to, like, start spreading my good knowledge to the world. Mm-hmm. You know, like, today I asked such a tough question on my Instagram page about, like, where do you put your boogers right. when you're in your car. So, you know, I mean, I'm just hoping that people are looking forward to more content like that for me, you know? And I think it'll come naturally. The The bigger you grow, the sure. more, the more you're going to be willing to share things like that, you know, share, I don't know, dieting tips, exercise tips. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to share paragraphs relationship. about my family Right. Before I give you a recipe on how to cook microwave popcorn. Right. You know. And it's, let's say you get to 6,000. That's when you're going to start posting like, hey guys, a little bit of relationship advice. And you're going to like hashtag relationship advice. And stuff like so that. I just want to ask you because like, you know, you are, a, you know, I'm a budding influencer and that's great and all, mm-hmm. but you are like, I mean, wow. I'd you are. S- I don't know what I would say fledgling at this point. To be honest, I think you're. You know, unfortunately, uh, there are people who have as many followers as you and they are verified. Uh, you're not. So I understand that's got to be really upsetting. Oh, for very you. upsetting. <clears throat> Especially um, when each day passes and I see another animal that is verified. Saw two pigs today. They never, are verified. To be honest, <clears throat> when you texted that in the group text the other day and you were like, dude, another animal verified. I was like, man, I didn't even think about that. That's really got to piss you off. Oh, every and I told uh, Chelsea, if her dog dog's account gets verified before I do, I'm not going to be friends with her anymore. If Tilly gets verified before I do. Yeah, that's just truly going to be unfair, and we're both yeah. going to have to cut off that relationship. Yeah. So I'll do that in solidarity with you. Thank I you. will be cutting the relationship out. But the question that I really wanted to ask you is like, so, you know, I mm-hmm. just breached 5,000 followers, mm-hmm. which is, I mean, to be honest, like I, I can quit my day job. Right, right. I'm very close to being able to do that. Uh, shortly. And you've got how many th- followers on Facebook, YouTube? Oh, man. Okay, so I on Facebook, so how many, many do you have? Uh, Facebook, I'm in the 300. Wow. Pay. Yeah. YouTube? Uh, 116K. Awesome. And Facebook, or uh, Instagram? 143K. I thought you had 300,000 on oh, Instagram. No. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, well, either way. And uh, TikTok, 118,000. Yeah. Wow. So uh, um, here's the deal. I just want to know, at what point in my budding influencer career am I going to start doing the, like, period things on my posts where it's like dot, 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 Mm. dot. You know what I mean? And then it goes on and on and on. And then there's 
a bunch of what are they called? Pounds, pounders. Those are the Pound, hashtags. Pound town, which is weird when you see people doing it because it's actually discouraged to use that many hashtags because it'll start to to uh, tell the algorithm, "Hey, this is spam," and it'll sort of put you down. It'll jostle you. It'll from jostle top you. to bottom. Right. Feeder. It'll jostle you. Okay, so yeah, I just, I mean, is there any advice? I think, I think it's 10K because at that point you get the swipe up mm -hmm. on Instagram and you feel very important. Oh, once, that's when you can start putting bullet points. When I get the swipe up, I am going to constantly be posting links to porn that I like, mm -hmm. to uh, just, all, you know, just right. any stuff, uh, shows that I have, maybe like, it's just, you know, I, I, I'm really excited for that. Just one last question before we uh -huh. get off sure, this topic. Sure. <clears throat> you know, you know me pretty well. Uh -huh. Do you, what's your advice to me as a budding influencer? Like, what do you, what are, what kind of, you know, be a fortune teller for me. Like, what do you, what do you see me doing? What do you see my path as your a budding path, influencer? Yeah. I really, I think today when you, when you did the, um, where do you put your boogers? Mm -hmm. Really felt uh, organic, you know, sure. with you felt very, I didn't feel like you were trying to be something you weren't. Mm -mm. And I felt like it was relatable because let's be honest, everyone puts their book. You have to put them somewhere unless you, you're eating them. What do you do? Yeah, you're <laughs> either eating them. And if you're eating them, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> well, you won't die. Okay. But like, I mean, you're going to get, you're going to be you, sued handsomely. I mean, people will see you. That's the only yeah. thing. <laughs> so just save it and eat it when a car's not driving by. God, I literally am getting sick thinking about <laughs> eating a booger. So that was so, an yeah. organic thing. So you say keep that up? Yeah. I'd keep say that keep that up. up. Keep up, you know, maybe a little bit more um, dog content. I love the dog content, especially today you showed Simba. Maybe it was yesterday. And you played a song and his little eyebrows were going up and down and he just looked so sad and cute. You think that'll really get me to Oh, the top? we love people love animal content. And sure. then of course, lastly, anytime you can show your pussy mm -hmm. is good. Great. Cool. Okay, okay don't sh don't show your pussy cuz then I'll get reported. Right. And banned. Okay, so yeah, this all sounds really good. And then I mean, so if I ever get to the point where I get to do any of those like, you know, like before and after pictures, you right. know, should I constantly just like be like sitting on the back of a motorcycle with my butt hanging out and like where should I do, should I just do stuff like that? Should I look good like yeah, that? Yeah, you could do that, but make sure you heavily uh, Photoshop it and be like, you can achieve this by, you know, whatever it is that you're you're being paid to say you did for sure. You it's don't like, actually have to do it; you just have to pretend. Drink super beats every day. Snort it if you have to. Right, you know. And yeah. um boy. Yeah. I'm I'm excited. Uh and always smile with your mouth open. Always. What do you mean? Just that? Yeah. Is that the thing to do? I don't know. I do it now. Everybody <laughs> just looks happier with their mouth Everybody's open. Everybody's do it. Yeah, it looks like you're just ready to take a big fat load. And you're like inside you're like, I hate a hell. Yeah. Your I mouth's hate open and hell. you're like, everyone can smell your breath. I wanna die. Mm. But it looks like you're saying Joy. Yeah. Joy to the world. Well, hey, I just want to say uh, one more thing before we end this uh, okay. little segment. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, sure, know, sure, 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 sure. Just let's take a moment and give it up for uh, Libby not having a dead tooth in her mouth anymore. Oh, so everybody give God. it up. Her mouth doesn't. <laughs> well, I think that tooth over there that that bridge is hooked on is, I don't think it's going to last. Well, you need to go to the dentist now sooner than later. <laughs> Well, what are they going to do? Take out the whole bridge? I ain't going to do that again. You fucking better not. We paid for that tooth. <laughs> Us looks, and the customers paid for that good, fucking though. tooth. It does look good. No, you look really nice. So, well, thank you so much for having this uh, influencer conversation with me. And again, I mean, I just. Let's see how much it went up now. I'm so excited to be here. Um, but you know, just also know that with the good is going to come the bad. Okay. And, um, oh, 41. 41. 41. So it went up two since we've been talking. That's great. Wow. See how much of an influence I have? I literally have almost 150,000 people and 40 people followed you. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You just got me 50 more followers and pushed me past that 5,000 threshold. And I mean, there's just something about seeing a five in front of numbers. That right. makes people go, wow. 
I think it's more about people want to see you shit your pants. <laughs> Bear, no, 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 no. Whenever sad moments in my life happen, that song plays. Like, is that from Peanuts? Yes, that sad little walk off, you know, where it's just like, bear, no, 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 no. Like, if I say, do you ever hear yourself talk, and then you just like, why did I say that? Like, that's a, I'm an every idiot. day, constantly. <laughs> that song plays in my brain every day. I hear because of Tic Tac. Tic-tac. Tic-tac. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I should do that red silhouette challenge. And, oh, sh- and I should yeah. sh- and I should sh- pour- put something so it looks like I'm shitting on the floor. If you do, just wear clothes. Tight-fitting clothes. Okay, why? Because I heard that they can, t- they can take the filter off and see you naked. Wow. That's why I haven't posted mine. <laughs> Okay. Because <laughs> I was totally naked. Okay. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Maybe I'll do that and I'll just fucking take a whole thing of like <laughs> <laughs> I am hundred percent gonna do a red solo challenge where it looks like <laughs> you should explosive diarrhea. Just go shh. How do what how do I get the filter? You go on Snapchat and record it with a filter called uh red silhouette or something. Okay. I'll find it. Just Google it. Okay, I will. Um, cool. So w- the thank you so much for talking with me about all that. Stuff. Oh, no I problem. Wait to have diarrhea on the red silhouette challenge. That's gonna be <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, so the kitten zoom filter mishap. It just happened today, but by the time uh this episode comes out, no everybody's one will, gonna know about it. Uh, no one will even like this video anymore. They'll be like, that was yesterday. Well, that's fucking lame. Okay, so. This is what? It's a, a lawyer's about child custody or something? Some kind of, I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a Zoom call and one of the guys, older gentleman, I assume, accidentally had a filter on of a cat. Probably his granddaughter. Yeah. Like, wait, is that the client? I don't know who, I don't know if he's, I don't know. Okay, so we've got, Four little Zoom things. Got a guy in the top right corner named Jerry L. Phillips wearing a blue and orange tie. Looking pretty okay. Looking a little down uh, just mentally. Wood paneling behind him and those shitty mini blinds. And then in the bottom left corner, we got a really cool guy. I think his name is H. Giles Bauer. He's definitely a Russian. Really cool guy. He's got a, what is that? A, a deer head or something or kind of ox head and some leather behind it and what looks like crutches. Those look like crutches behind uh, walking him. Sticks. The walking sticks. Walking sticks. <laughs> he got walking sticks behind him. So, and then on the bottom right, we have a kitten that is crying. Um, <laughs> truly crying. So, I am so excited to see this. Okay. And you haven't seen it yet. This no, is this a is blind a, react for this Tina. This is a blind react. Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video <laughs> setting. Uh, you might want to uh, take we're a We're trying look. to, we're tr- can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the- it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> I can I can see that. Um, I think if you click the up arrow next to the <laughs> one more time. Oh the, my god! The kitten's eyes are looking side to side. I believe His you have eyes. a filter turned on in the His... video settings. Uh, you might want to. Uh, uh, take, take we're a trying look. to. We're tr- can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I uh, think it's a filter. It, in the- it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, <laughs> Rod Pont. I'm prepared That's to go his forward name. with it. That's, I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see that. I'm not a cat. Um, the guy in the top right. The Hold on. Rewind it when he this. says. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> What did the wait? I, hold I gotta on. look at the guy in the top. Go back. 
Keep going. I can see that. I can. I, I can. I can see. That. I'm here live. That's not. I'm not a cat. <laughs> I can. I can see that. Um, I think if you click the up arrow next to this. I have to know. I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh my my assistant here is trying to figure it out which means uh, my my eight-year-old uh, nephew really quick she's just trying to uh, uh, you know i am live here I, i'm not a cat oh my god the the <laughs> fuck me uh it's a, he's a county attorney that guy's an attorney that has a cat filter on Holy fuck. Did you just fart, bro? The other guy, like, in that case, so that top right guy had to be the other attorney. <laughs> Can you imagine the pure, sheer joy that he had? <laughs> like, what if that guy was representing a murderer, and he's got, like, the cat filter? He's like, um, yes, yeah, so, well, um, my assistant here is trying to help me really quick. I, uh, I'm not a cat. I'm here to represent the grisly murder of seven. <laughs> it's just a cat crying. Listen to this. Uh, an exasperated Mr. Ponton responds as his kitten face looks forlornly at the corner of the screen. <laughs> its eyes seemingly to be full of terror, shame, and sadness. <laughs> the kitten's eyes! Uh, <laughs> I'm not a cat! <laughs> <laughs> just the fact that he said that <laughs> sentence it's like oh, he goes God. yeah i'm aware of that okay it looks like uh my uh, i'm not a cat <laughs> i'm live i'm not a cat oh fuck i gotta me. watch it one more time yeah come on one i more. gotta see when the kitten's eyes start going down well it's clearly his eyes going. moving it <laughs> Mr. Ponton, i believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings <laughs> you might want to uh, uh take, take we're a trying look. to we're tr can you hear me judge i can hear you i think it's a filter <coughs> and it is and i don't know how to remove it i've got my assistant here she's trying to but uh i'm prepared to go forward with it i'm prepared That's, to go forward i'm here live That's not that i'm not a cat <laughs> I can I can see that. <laughs> I think if you click the up arrow next to this. I want to know how they got that filter on Zoom, though. I don't have that filter. Dude, uh, it was definitely a grandkid of his or something like that, or a kid. Like, holy fuck. He, he had no idea. That's exactly what happened. And he's like, um, okay, I'm prepared to go forward with this. I, um, okay. Were you um, using Pop Pops? Were you using Pop Pops um, computer yesterday? <laughs> um, Jessica, Jessica, Raylan, Raylan, Jessica, Braylan. Were you using Pop Pops computer last night? Because you really embarrassed me today. You know, I was in a, I was in a Zoom conference call with Judge Mathis. Okay, and. But Pop Pop, you're viral. No, you really embarrassed me today, kids. You got to take your filters off, okay? Because I'm ready to go forward with not having you <laughs> two as my grandchildren anymore. But listen, Pop Pop, you're viral. You know what that means? You're cool. You're an influencer now. You can start making all kinds of TikToks, dancing TikToks. You can start making money on TikTok. You won't even have to be a judge anymore. Huh? <laughs> that was the sound he made. He goes, oh, <laughs> at the beginning. And the eyes. Oh. Because he's looking around desperately what? trying to turn it off. What do you mean? I can't dance. I don't know how to dance. You know, you know when me and your grandma Mabel, <clears throat> me and your grandma Mabel got married. Yeah. We didn't even dance. What? I, I didn't want to dance with her. Because I don't know how to dance. I'm not prepared for this kind of fame. I'm not ready to move forward with this kind of fame. <laughs> Pop Pop, there are people on, on TikTok that are so famous, and they're very elderly. And they're, all their content revolves around how old they are and out of touch with reality. 
Uh-huh. People, people love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe well, you could go in there and give tips like, this is what I'd do if, if I was a lawyer. If you need medical help, if you need legal help, blah, blah, blah. That'd be really cool. Well, so in pretty much if I make one of those videos, do I just say tick tock, tick tock well, during it? You can. Is that how you do it? It would be really funny if you did because people would think, wow, this guy's really out of touch with reality. And probably Christina P. would put you on her stories. Uh, okay. Do you think that uh, this has made our uh, Yahoo reviews better since my cat video went viral? I don't know what that is, Pop Pop. You know, the page where the landing page for our law office. Law Office of Rod Ponton and Associates. At Yahoo. At Yahoo. Yahoo Pages. YahooGroups.com. Do you think that it's made made our ratings go up? I don't know. Let me check the ratings. Oh, it says here, you've got so many five stars pop up. People love you. Whoa. Okay, well, can you play that video back for me again where I was in it? I just want to watch it real quick, see if I was <clears throat> looking good, that someone wants a neck with me. Oh, that's Martin, cute. I believe you have a filter that's you, where the cat turned is. on in the oh, video Oh, the setting. cat's eyes. <laughs> oh, he's you crying. To, uh, uh, to uh, find a, a, to the <laughs> Oh, I can hear did you. I make I that sound? Filter. That's all it you. Is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's I, trying to, I didn't know how to remove it. Uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. I'm, I am prepared. I'm, alive. That's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Of course I'm not a cat. Pop up. Uh, people can, are going to think this is that. staged. Um, I think what do you mean? You click the up it's just too good. Next to the I got, you think I staged something like that? I'm not saying you did. I'm saying people are going to think it's staged. They're going to let you have your glory for about a week, and then all of a sudden it's going to be like, lawyer lies about filter was actually just a cutout uh, in front of his face. He could have removed it at any time. Well, let me tell you something. I really hope that's not the case because you can hear the terror and shame <laughs> in my voice when I go, ah. I mean, I was spooked. I'm not a cat. I want to see Rob Ponton. <laughs> Rod Ponton. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that the picture of the cat comes up. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, dude. I think it's the one on the left. Are those the same guys? The only thing that would have made it better is if the kitten was wearing a cowboy hat. Just I like him. am not surprised this guy's wearing a cowboy hat. Not one bit. Is that his attorney picture? Oh, uh, hey, here we go. We love Jesus. He goes, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not a cat. Hey, Grandpa, give me the mouse. My two-year-old granddaughter's going to figure it out for me. She's really good at computers. She really knows what to do. Oh boy! Oh, and his mouth moving. It's the cat's like <laughs> little teeth. I'm not a cat. Somebody just said uh, followed so I can see her shit. Ha 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 ha! Literally, I'm gonna have to do the red su- red silhouette thing. Yeah. So that's gonna be the reward. Make sure you put down a t- shower curtain. That's some ASMR. Oh. All right. Well, I think that uh, that'll do her. Well, that concludes this episode today. That was fun. And if you're watching this, I don't have a bra on. Yeah. Uh, so if you're distracted by my tits, she's free balling today. My mom, brothers. Cindy, she has a bra on though. Yeah, my mom, Cindy's yeah. wearing a bra. Yeah, <clears throat> but not me. Not mm-hmm. my son. Not my son, Frederick Jr. He doesn't wear a bra. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Randall. Thanks, Randall. We love y'all. Keep coming back. It works if you work it. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. So is that what influencers say? That's what they say in AA. Oh. <clears throat> well, yeah. And NA.
not available? Yeah. God damn, Narcotics dude. Anonymous? You know, this is why people hate cops. Because <laughs> people say shit like that. Al-Anon? I was what? in that one. Al-Anon? Aladdin? I was in Aladdin. <laughs> Were you? With the hit star from Bicentennial Man, Robin Williams? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Thanks so much. All and right. That's uh, going to do us. And cut. I'm not a cat. Brunch! <laughs>